हेलो एवरीवन गुड इवनिंग नमस्ते जय हिंद एंड वेलकम बैक टू बाइजूज एग्जाम प्रेप यस हेलो एवरीवन ओके फटाफट से अपने फ्रेंड्स को बुला लो राइट बता दो सेशन स्टार्ट हो गया एंड वेलकम टू बाइजूज एग्जाम प्रे एंड इन कैट 2022 टारगेट 99 परसेंट टाइल क्वांट सी राइट टुडे आई विल टेक क्वेश्चंस ऑन बोथ्स एंड स्ट्रीम राइट okay so yes das good evening good evening everyone okay so uh in today's agenda yes saurav okay i have taken questions on both and stream particularly right and in that also the questions of average level of difficulty okay because many of you are going for seam at maharashtra ct so i'm not taking very difficult question right now right so but average level of difficulty there will be few very easy also but easy to average एवरेज और अब एवरेज ऑल्सो वन और टू क्वेश्चन में राइट यस दिस विल बी रेलिवेंट फॉर सी मैट सो दैट्स वाई आई हैव टेकन क्वेश्चन ऑफ एवरेज लेवल बट बोर्ड्स एंड स्ट्रीम यस डेफिनेटली रेलिवेंट फॉर सी मैट महाराष्ट्र सी कैट ऑल्सो राइट आई विल टेल यू द कंसेप्ट ऑल्सो सो Yes, one of the important topic, time speed distance, and one of the important sub topic of time speed distance is boats and stream, right? Okay, so here I am taking. Uh, okay, I am just revising the basic formula for this. So nomenclature that I will be using, right? Okay, so I will take speed of boat in still water. right speed of boat in still water that is without stream i will take this as b right okay generally whenever i write formula right i will use this as b okay boat speed of boat in still water then yash good evening speed of river current you can say current or stream or you can say river flow so that i will take s as stream right okay i am just giving you a basic of this and then we will move to the questions right then you will find questions very easy right i am just giving you a brief of this and now there will be a nomenclature that is downstream okay so downstream is going with the flow right going with the flow with the flow or in the direction of the river in the direction of the flow okay now here if i take this as d this is equal to b plus s right and the second one is upstream that is going against the flow against in the direction opposite of the flow right going against the flow so this is going to be u i will use at u and b minus s this is the value of u right now now there is one more thing that you should know one is okay that is 
if you know the value of d and u if you know the value of d and u you can directly calculate the value of b as the arithmetic mean of d and u so average of d and u is b boat speed of boat in still water and speed of stream directly you can calculate as the difference divided by 2 right you can calculate the difference divided by 2 as speed of stream or speed of current right river flow that you can calculate okay so this is just the basic one more right one important thing that you should know right one more thing i am telling you okay one is if let's say T1 is the time taken. Let's say the distance is constant. Distance is same. Okay, distance is same. Constant. Now, if T1 is the time taken during downstream, so going downstream, the same distance. And T2 is the time taken right during upstream the same distance now if t is the time taken to cover the same distance in still water right by the same boat in still water then t will be the harmonic mean that is 2 t1 t2 by t1 plus t2 Right, the harmonic mean of the time taken in going downstream and upstream. Okay, this also you should know. So I have told you everything about this chapter, this topic, boats and stream. Now you can answer the questions very easily. Right. Okay, so let's start with the questions and, and just share with your friends that the session has started and we are starting with the questions. Okay. जल्दी से शेयर कर दो अब अपने फ्रेंड्स को बता दो और फटाफट से हम ये वाले फॉर्मूले यूज करेंगे और जल्दी से आंसर बताएंगे ये क्वेश्चन का आंसर आप फटाफट से बता सकते हो दिस इज वेरी इजी राइट इजी कैटेगरी तो क्विकली आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन दिस इज जस्ट ओके वार्म अप स्पीड ऑफ बोट ड्यूरिंग अप स्ट्रीम इज फिफ्टीन किलोमीटर पर आवर एंड स्पीड ऑफ करंट इज एट find the time taken by boat in covering 248 km a very basic warm up question so you can directly answer what will be the answer if it is upstream and speed of current is there what will be the speed of downstream it will be 15 plus 2 into 8 that is 31 km per hour will be your downstream so if 248 is to cover at 31 speed so 8 hour will be the time taken okay why i have written that 15 plus 2 into 8 because upstream is b minus s if you add twice s to it it will become b plus s so this is upstream this is downstream so upstream plus twice of current stream twice of stream is equal to downstream so i have added upstream plus twice of stream equal to downstream speed so 248 kilometer is to be covered at 31 speed the time taken should be 8 kilometer 8 hours so rp singh yes you were correct absolutely correct so let's move to next one okay so if these are easy question you must answer it quickly right pakka hi jaldi jaldi answer de dena chahiye b is 23 yes speed of boat would be 23 okay that was not required here so that's why i didn't calculate right thus yes b was equal to 23 okay okay so let's move to next one a is the correct answer next one 
okay this is basically data for two questions okay directions for question number second and third okay first do this question right ratio of upstream and downstream speed of a bo boat x so here it is a boat x is 3 is to 5 and boat covers 120 km upstream in 5 hours so upstream is given right so if i talk about boat x let's say i'm writing it here boat x right upstream speed is 120 km in 5 hours that means 24 km per hour and upstream and downstream the ratio is 3 is to 5 so if 3 part is 24 3 into 8 5 into 8 downstream must be 40 the ratio should be 3 is to 5 right upstream and downstream the ratio is given as 3 is to 5 so that means if upstream is 24 downstream must be 40 right if there is any doubt you can ask if there is any doubt you can ask now the speed of the boat right what will be the speed of the boat speed of the boat will be u plus d plus u by 2 so that means 40 plus 24 by 2 it will become 32 that is the midpoint of u and d the middle value of u and d will be the speed of the boat and speed of stream will become the difference of d and b 40 and 32 the difference will be 8 right so you can calculate all the speeds for x so boat x the speed upstream speed is 24 downstream speed is 40 speed of boat in still water is 32 and speed of stream is 8 right now he's talking about boat y also so there is a boat y also he is saying it takes 10 hours to cover 160 km upstream. So 160 by 10. So upstream speed is 16. Right? But speed of stream is same for both. So speed of stream is still 8. If it is 16, so 16 plus 8, 24 should be the speed of boat. Why? Because upstream will be B minus S. So 24 minus 8 will be 16 and 24 plus 8 will be 32 so downstream speed will be 32 so i got the speed for y also upstream downstream boat and stream okay now my first question is that find the total time taken by boat y to cover 280 kilometer downstream and the same distance upstream so 280 kilometer at the speed of downstream that is 32 plus 280 kilometer at speed 16 right if i take i cancel with okay only two that will become 140 plus by 16 plus 280 by 16 that will become 420 by 16 or i can directly cancel from here only 16 into 2 32 100 0, 0, 16 6 96 so the answer should be 26 point something C option should be the correct answer. Right? See, if there is any doubt, you can ask. Right? Koi doubt ho to pooch lo. Right? But these, this is a one of the very important topic. Right? Bohat sare question aap bohat jaldi jaldi answer kar sakte hai. Right? But if you know the concept. Okay? Now, see, x and y, uh, we have already calculated the speed of, right? So, in case of x, it is 32 and 8. In case of y, it is 24 and 8. Okay, so see the next question. Okay, C option was correct. So, here, I am again writing that boat x was the speed was 32 and stream was 8 and boat y 24 and stream was 8 so downstream it was 40 upstream it was 24 here downstream it was 32 upstream it was 16 right now there is a boat z also in this question 
the ratio of speed of boat z in still water to speed of boat y in still water is 5 is to 4 so still water y in this is 5 is to 4 that means 4 into 6 5 into 6 30 right so he want the ratio of speed of boat x in still water so which is 32 is what percent of still boat z in still water which is 30 which is 16 by 15 right can i say it is 1 plus 1 by 15 1 is 100 percent and 1 by 15 is 6.66 percent so total will be 106.6 percent right okay the question was very easy only thing is the length of the question right he made a story out of it right there is a boat x there is a boat y there is a boat z but all the things were very easy okay yes ओके okay, कोई डाउट हो तो पूछ सकते हो और घबराना नहीं है मैंने कैट का नाम वैसे ही लिखा हुआ है आप सोचो आसान क्वेश्चन डिस्कस कर रहे हैं राइट right? और ग्रेजुअली हम आप कांसेप्ट क्लियर कर रहा हूं आप कोई भी क्वेश्चन सॉल्व कर सकते हैं ओके ग्रेट सो लेट्स मूव टू नेक्स्ट वन और सेशन को शेयर करते रहो अभी तो काफी कम हो गए राइट right? मेरा थर्ड सेशन आज दिन का मैं नहीं थका हूं राइट right? मुझे लग रहा है काफी लोग थक गए ओहो ये ऑप्शन साथ में कैसे आ गई ये करेक्ट ऑप्शन तो साथ में ही आ गई चलो कोई बात नहीं अभी सॉल्व करेंगे इसको अ बोट कैन रो एट द स्पीड ऑफ 40 मीटर पर सेकंड इन स्टिल वाटर इफ द स्पीड ऑफ स्ट्रीम इज 11 वन बाय नाइन परसेंट ऑफ द स्पीड ऑफ द बोट इन स्टिल वाटर 11 वन बाय नाइन कितना होता है वन बाय नाइन राइट दैट मींस that means if i say speed of boat speed of stream this is 9 is to 1 so speed downstream downstream will become 9 plus 1 10 and upstream will be, become 9 minus 1 8 so this will be the ratio i have written the ratio only okay now it is 40 meter per second whereas this is talking about kilometers and hours right so here it is kilometer per hour so if this is kilometer per hour right so convert this also into kilometer per hour i know 5 meter per second equal to 18 kilometer per hour so if 5 into 8 is 40 18 into 8 will be 144 so that means this will be 144 kilometer per hour. Okay. So that means if speed of the boat is 144 kilometer per hour, right? Then by what percent should the speed of the boat be increased so that it can never, it can cover 18? 11 1 by 9 percent it is given. 11 1 by 9 percent means 100 by 9 percent percent means so it is 1 by 9 of the speed of the boat right when you say percent divide it by 100 you will get the fraction right okay now you see that if this is 144 speed of the stream will be divide by 9 so it will be 16 if this is 144 this will be 16 right now he's saying then by what percent should the speed of the boat be increased so that it can cover 181.6 okay see 1816 divided by 10 the speed required downstream speed required is this right but this is downstream now downstream is boat plus stream now stream is fixed you are not increasing the speed of the stream you are just increasing the speed of the boat 
you are just increasing the speed of the boat you are not increasing the speed of the stream that means the required speed of the boat should be 181 minus 16 that will be 165.6 currently the speed of the boat is 144 you want the speed of the boat becomes 165 what is the change the change is 21.6 so you want 21.6 increase on 144 what is the percentage okay 10 percent will be 14.4 and 7.2 will be 5 percent so it should be 15 percent see 144 10 percent would be 14.4 5 percent would be 7.2 so 21.6 will be 15 percent and we are increasing 21.6 so that means you are increasing 15 percent so if you increase the speed of the boat by 15 percent the speed of the boat in still water will become 165.6 the speed of the stream will remain 16 which will total will become 181.6 kilometer per hour and in 10 hour it will cover 1816 kilometer downstream right i hope you are getting this right this is definitely not a cmat level question this is definitely a cat level question where you are increasing the speed of the boat in still water you are not increasing the speed of the stream right that is the catch so you will not directly increase the speed of the downstream by certain percent because Downstream is boat plus stream. You are just increasing the speed of the boat. Stream will remain constant. Right? Okay, great. Great. Very good. So let's move to the next one. Hello. Mushkil pushne ke baad asan bhi jarur pushta hoon hai. Right? Beech mein asan question bhoat saare rakhe hoon hai. Okay, tell me this. Very, very easy again. Right, if in every question, like the, the earlier question also, I, I wrote the ratio, boat, stream, downstream, upstream. Right, in every question, almost every question, you could you would be able to write that ratio. If you write that ratio, most of the question will be solved. Right, see, here he is saying, speed of boat in still water is thrice the speed of the stream. So you write here, boat, stream, it is 3 is to 1. So that means downstream will be 3 plus 1. Upstream will be 3 minus 1. Right? Now he's saying sum of the speed of boat in downstream and upstream is 72. That means if you take these all 3x, 1x, 4x, 2x, that means downstream and upstream 6x is equal to 72. Right? 6x equal to 72, the total speed. So x is 12 right now what is asking find the time taken to cover 336 upstream now 336 upstream speed is 2x which is 2 into 12 so 12 into 2 24 9 6 8 2 into 14 so 14 should be the correct answer yes Soronil, 14 is the correct answer very good Right, 14 hours should be the correct answer. Okay. So once you have written this ratio, once you have written this ratio, the most of the question will become easy. Right. Okay, let's see. Let's see, we will try to write this ratio in every question. Okay, next one. Here directly the ratio of speed of boat in still water and speed of stream is given. So again you will write the ratio. I am saying for every question I will think it like this 5, 3. So the downstream will become 8. Upstream will become 5 minus 3, 2. So a boat takes total of 6 hours. Okay. Mix. Mix. These are mix. Okay. There are few questions which are above CMAT level. Few questions can be there at CMAT. 
So a boat takes six hours to go to 24 kilometer upstream and same distance downstream. Now, now I will take the speeds as x, right? So 24 kilometer upstream plus 24 kilometer downstream. The total time taken is six hours. So 2 into 12, 8 into 3. So 12 by x plus 3 by x is 15 by x is 6. So 6 into but 5, 2. So x is 2.5. Right? Now find the twice the speed of boat in still water. Now still water it is 5x. I want twice. Twice. So 5x into 2 would be 10x. And value of x is 2.5. So 10 into 2.5, it will become 25. So B option should be the correct answer. He want twice the speed of boat in still water. So if the speed of the boat in still water is 5x, we want 10x. Right? And x is 2.5. 2.5 into 10, it would become 25. Right? Okay? See, first the focus should be that every time I am trying to write this ratio, right, once I got this ratio, right, then, then other things will fall, fall in place, right. I don't think so, fir question mushkil rahega, that that will become easy. Okay, yes, B option is the correct answer. Okay, let's move to the next one. Okay, now this. This I have already told you in the basics only, right? The formula I told you. Just tell me the answer. I told you the concept of harmonic mean, right? If T1 is the time taken at upstream, T2 is the time taken at downstream, then T, the time taken to cover the same distance in still water will be 2 T1, T2 by T1 plus T2, that is the harmonic mean. So that means if you are covering a particular distance upstream in 60 minutes, you are coming back, that means covering the same distance in 40 minutes, right? Now coming back means downstream. If you are going upstream, coming back means downstream, right? So now how much time will it take to cover the same journey if the river is not flowing, right? So this, this is the catch. This is the catch, Soronil. The answer should be 96 minutes. Right? You will calculate 2 into 40 into 60 by 40 plus 60. Right? That is okay. 100, both zeros gone. So it is equal to 48 minutes. But this is 48 minutes for a single distance. Here we are talking about the entire journey. The journey was going somewhere and coming back. Going somewhere and coming back. This was the journey. So you will take 48 minute here, 48 minute here. So it will be 96 minute now. Are you getting the point? You covered D distance upstream in 40, 60 minutes, uh, downstream. D distance downstream in 60 minutes. You cover D distance upstream in 40 minutes. You can cover D distance in 48 minutes. That is in still water. But now you need to cover 2D distance. Because the journey is 2D, not D. You are going D, coming back D. So the journey will become 2D. So here the entire journey, the same journey, if the river is not flowing, it will take 96 minutes, not this. Right, so 48 was deliberate option, right? Many people, even if they know the concept, they will mark this, right? The correct answer should be 96. Right? Okay, okay. So let's move to the next one. Next question. Or share karte ro. Right? Kafi lo kam ho jate hai jab hum achi chijen discuss karte hai. <laughs> right? Easy questions pe bhot lo grete hai. अभी मुझे इजी क्वेश्चन साथ में लेने पड़ते हैं बहुत सारे 
Okay, a boat can cover 60 km downstream in 36 minutes. That means downstream speed is given. But here ratio of boat in still water and speed of stream is also given. So that means again you will write B as 5, 3. So downstream speed will become 8, upstream speed will become 2. Right? So downstream speed is given 60 km in 36 minutes. If I convert it into kilometer per hour so 6 and 6 here so it will be 100 kilometer per hour right the speed is 100 kilometer per hour so if this is 100 kilometer per hour right how much time will the boat take to cover 45 kilometer upstream so this is one fourth so this will become 25 kilometer per hour so I want to go 45 kilometer at 25 kilometer per hour. This will be the hours. But answer is in minutes. So convert it into minutes. 5, 9, 5, 12. 12 into 9, 108 minutes. I am converting the final value of hours 45 by 25 into minutes. So into 60. And that is giving me the answer 108 minutes. Yes, yes, Soronil, 108 minutes is the correct answer. And I think uh, now the basic concept of this chapter, this topic should be clear. Right? More or less, we are talking about every time board stream, right? There are certain questions where he says that uh, that linear equation type of thing that this much downstream, uh, this much distance uh, upstream, and this much distance downstream, it traveled in certain time given. Then the second equation will be some other distance downstream, other distance upstream, right, in some other time taken. So then there will be two equations. So such questions will also be there, right, maybe there, but not at CMAT level. Yes, D was the correct answer. Let's move to the next one, right. This question, I think you can answer very quickly. Quickly answer this question, right. This is, I think, something to do with, uh, okay, a sailor can row at 19 km per hour in still water and the river is running at 6. If he takes 7.6 hours to row to a place and return back, then how far is the place? Okay. So here the thing is, right, one thing you can directly do that downstream speed is 19 plus 6, that is 25. Upstream speed is 19 minus 6, that is 13. So you can directly say one one way is that you can say that d distance d distance we are covering at 25 and d distance we are covering at 13 and the total time taken is 7.6 hours and we will solve d here right because how far is the place we want the value of d right this is a simple thing here it will become 13 and 25 uh, 38 38 d by 25 into 13 equal to 7.6 so 38 into 2 by 10 right so this will become uh, 25 or oh, 2 into 5 5 into 5 so d will be 65 right so the distance will be 65 okay just see uh, if i have not done any calculation mistake i am getting 65 here 25 and 13, 38, 38 divided by 25 into 13 equal to 7.6, right, which is 76 by 10 or 38 into 2, 2 by 10, 1 by 5, 5 into 5, so 5 into 13, 65. Yes, I am getting 65. Okay, I will just confirm the answer. Yes, D, none of these is the correct answer, right? So 65 should be the correct answer. The other method to do this is, okay, this is a linear equation that you can do. The other method, because the distance is same, right? Now, other method is, if the distance is same, the average speed of the entire trip will be 2uv, okay, sorry, it is not u and v, right? sorry, sorry. The speed downstream will be 25 and upstream will be 13. So it will be 2uv by u plus v 
this is the average speed into the total time taken will be the total distance now the total distance is double you are going somewhere coming back so this is a double distance i want only a single distance how far is the place so divide it by 2 to get the single distance right now decimal i am removing dividing by 10 38 into 2 76 cancelled 2 and 5 10 cancelled so 65 is the answer right so what i am doing here is that calculating the average speed first average speed into the total time taken that will be double the distance that will be the total distance covered total time means going and coming back so total distance will be double the distance he is saying how far is the place it is only a single distance he is asking right how far is the place means you are going somewhere that is the distance right but here you are going somewhere and coming back so you are covering double distance so that's why i have divided it by 2 right jo 2 se divide kiya hai wo isliye kiya hai kyunki double distance calculate ho raha hai right aur double distance calculate hone ke baad aap usko right divide by 2 karoge otherwise you can do that linear equation linear equation bhi bada simple tha okay next question pe aa jao ओके okay, फटाफट से आंसर करेंगे अब की बार रेशो दिया है अपस्ट्रीम और डाउनस्ट्रीम स्पीड का राइट सी यस यू कैन डू दैट अपस्ट्रीम फोर डाउनस्ट्रीम सेवन तो व्हाट विल बी द स्पीड ऑफ द बोट आई टोल्ड यू द एवरेज ऑफ दिस फोर एंड सेवन इलेवन बाय टू फाइव पॉइंट फाइव दैट मीन स्पीड ऑफ स्ट्रीम विल बी सेवन एंड फाइव डिफरेंस इज वन राइट ओके इफ यू डोंट वॉन्ट टू डील इन डेसीमल्स यू जस्ट डबल इट मल्टीप्लाई द इंटायर रेशियो बाई टू इट विल नॉट चेंज द रेशियो एंड द रेशियो विल बिकम एटीन फोर्टीन इलेवन एंड थ्री स्टिल द सेम रेशियो नाउ द स्पीड ऑफ द बोट इन स्टिल वाटर इज ट्वेंटी टू ओ दिस इज गिवन ट्वेंटी टू सो दैट मीन दिस विल बी सिक्स दिस विल बी एट ट्वेंटी एट दिस विल बी सिक्सटीन So you got all the speeds then find the time taken by boat to cover 56 km downstream so speed is 28 i want to travel 56 km at 28 so the time taken will be 2 hours right in this case the time taken is going to be 2 hours right okay yes ग्रेट इस सेशन को शेयर करते रहो और अपने फ्रेंड्स को बता दो कि वी आर डूइंग नॉर्मल प्रॉब्लम्स वी आर नॉट डिस्कसिंग वेरी डिफिकल्ट प्रॉब्लम्स राइट बिकॉज कैट के नाम से बहुत सारे लोग कर ही नहीं रहे हैं सेशन कैट के जिस जिस भी सेशन पे हमारे कैट नाम लिखा हुआ है उसके व्यूअरशिप कम हो जाती है ओके मे बी अभी जो करंट लोग जो टारगेट कर रहे हैं दैट इज सी मैट ओके द मोस्ट रीसेंट एंड देन महाराष्ट्र सिटी ओके कैट नेक्स्ट ईयर वालों के लिए हो जाता है ओके सो नेक्स्ट बट स्टिल दी दीज कंसेप्ट कैन हेल्प यू इन सी मैट इन महाराष्ट्र सिटी आल्सो ओके लेट्स सी दिस इफ स्पीड ऑफ द स्ट्रीम इज ट्वेंटी परसेंट ऑफ द स्पीड ऑफ द बोट इन स्टिल वाटर राइट सो यहां से रेशियो मिल गया फिर से रेशियो लिखूंगा बोट एंड स्ट्रीम फाइव इज टू वन ट्वेंटी परसेंट का मतलब हो गया ना फाइव इज टू वन राइट इट इज वन बाय फाइव ऑफ द स्पीड ऑफ द बोट इन स्टिल वाटर तो दैट मीन्स डाउनस्ट्रीम कितनी हो गई फाइव प्लस वन अपस्ट्रीम कितनी हो गई फाइव माइनस वन ओके यस मिक्स है अंकित देर आर फ्यू क्वेश्चन राइट विच आर कैट लेवल फ्यू क्वेश्चन विच आर सी मैट लेवल राइट मिक्स बीच में इजी क्वेश्चन देने पड़ते हैं नहीं तो लोग भाग जाते हैं ओके ये शिवा गुड इवनिंग एंड इट कवर्स 120 किलोमीटर अपस्ट्रीम इन 150 मिनट्स सो द स्पीड इज गिवन सी 120 किलोमीटर इन 150 मिनट्स सो आई विल कन्वर्ट इट टू आवर्स सो इट इज 13 टू 5 13 टू 4 
right? 5 into 12, so 48. So upstream speed is 48 for 12 times, right? So what is the downstream speed? 6 into 12, so it will be 72, right? So 72 km per hour should be the speed of the boat in downstream. Downstream speed of the boat would be 72, right? Okay, this was a very, very simple question, right? And yes, Ankit, this was, okay, CMAT level, you can say. Uh, Ankit, देखो, hard question भी करने होते हैं, जब मैं पूरा हम आगे तक करते हैं, जैसे ही cat focus करते जाएंगे इससे आगे, तो आपको थोड़े अच्छे लेवल के क्वेश्चन भी करने पड़ेंगे बट जब आपको कांसेप्ट क्लैरिटी है राइट right? आप इसके मैं हमेशा सोचता हूं कि इजी और एवरेज लेवल के क्वेश्चन अगर आप ज्यादा प्रैक्टिस करते हैं तो उससे आपकी कांसेप्ट क्लैरिटी आती है राइट right? कांसेप्ट तो हमेशा इन्हीं में होते हैं क्वेश्चंस में जो डायरेक्ट कांसेप्ट पूछे हुए हैं डिफिकल्ट क्वेश्चन क्या होता है विद अ विद अ स्टोरी राइट दैट यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड स्टोरी आपको समझनी पड़ती है and with multiple concept in the same question, right? अब अगर आपके concept clear ही नहीं है, आप इसकी practice तो करते नहीं है, easy और average की, तो आपके concept clear नहीं हो पाते, and due to that, yes, time and वो भी करेंगे, पक्का ही करेंगे सौरनी, मैं बहुत सारे कर रहा हूँ, time and work के मैंने पहले भी लिए थे, time speed distance के, और भी करेंगे, okay, so just try to understand that, that you need to practice more on easy and average level and then you can handle any question. Right? Story to baad mein handle ho jayengi na, jab concept clear ho jayengi. Right? Phir aap koi bhi story handle karenge. Okay? Ye batayenge. Right? Again a very very easy question. Right? Very easy question. Because speed of boat is given 30 and speed downstream is given. Downstream 60 km in 1 hour 30 minutes that is 3 by 2 hours. So downstream speed is 40. Right? Downstream speed. So that means speed of stream will become 10 and upstream will become 20. So what is the time taken by boat 60 km upstream? So 60 by 20, right? That is 3. So 3 hours it will take, right? Otherwise, otherwise you can do directly also, you can do directly this question also, that if you know that speed of stream, speed of boat, right? Still water, speed of boat is 30 and downstream it is 60 by 3 by 2 that is 40 so upstream will become right 40 minus 10 right 40 minus uh, 20 that will become 20 because speed of stream will become 10 now the ratio of speed is 2 is to 1 downstream and upstream so time taken time taken will become 1 is to 2 so in upstream, you are covering 60 km only, the distance is same, the time taken will become double. So 1 hour 30 minute time taken will become double, that will become 3 hours. Otherwise also the values are very simple, so you can calculate because 60 by 20 it is directly 3 hours. Right, so very simple question. Okay. The correct answer and this was the last question so I have taken very few questions only 12 questions both and stream right that too easy to average only right there were few uh, two questions I think which were above average or average level right three questions rather okay and uh, others were good questions at average easy to average level but good questions right you need to understand the concept. Okay, so this is the program uh, for second stage, that is selection stage CAT EI VAT program. 
which includes mock interviews, power pack section, 15 power pack sessions, one VAT correction, right? Personalized mentoring from uh, I am mentors. Okay, so everything included, complete package. And uh, for for uh, this CAT 2022 complete course batch five. Okay, you can call at 9650052904, or you can call at 9513138506. Okay. Uh, Soranil, I will tell you, or maybe in the next week, I will take those things, right? Time, speed, distance, and work. I will take in the next, uh, next Saturday. Okay, because every Saturday I have this cat booster uh, series. Okay, so I will take those questions in the next session, right? Okay, and pakka like, comment, share, jarur kar diya karo. Or subscribe karlo YouTube channel, right? So that, and bell icon ko press kar do so that uh, you get the notification. Yes, thank you. Thank you, uh, Soranil. And uh, good night, RP. Or aap follow kar sakte hai. You can follow us at Instagram, YouTube, Facebook page, Telegram group. You can join, right? For your doubt clearing things. Uh, or app you can download from Play Store, right? By use exam prep app. Okay. Uh, concept pe to kaam karenge. Agar aapki koi doubt aata hai, to you just keep interacting. Usse hi clear honge. Jitna jada questions karoge. Uh, dekho, agar aapko conceptual level pe kaam karna hai, to any book like R.S. Agarwal, right? R.S. Agarwal or uh, uh, Sarvesh Verma, Arihant, Pearson, Nishit Sinha, right? Any any book level one. Question karo level one wale. Jo in me na Sarvesh Verma, Nishit Sinha in me level wise de rakhe hain. To starting ka level karo. Pehle level one ke bahut saare questions karo, saare solve karo. Right? Unhe skip mat karo. Then you go for level two, right? Wo jo level three hota hai na, jo difficult question likhe hote hain kisi bhi book mein, right? Wo isliye hote hain ki kis type ke question nahi karne hain. ओके तो वो आपको ये बताने के लिए है डिफिकल्ट क्वेश्चन तो हमेशा होते ही इसलिए हैं कि आपको ये बताया जाए कि ऐसे क्वेश्चन देख के छोड़ देने हैं राइट तो डोंट एक पंगा विद दोस क्वेश्चंस राइट ओके इफ यू हैव अरियंट यू कैन प्रैक्टिस विद लेवल वन लेवल टू ओके तो सी यू इन द न और कोई डाउट आता है तो आप इन वीडियोस के कमेंट में भी डाल सकते हो राइट ये जो वीडियोस हैं मेरे वीडियोस इनके कमेंट सेक्शन में डाल दो अगर कोई डाउट आता है किसी क्वेश्चन में भी डाउट है सो यू कैन दिस इज आल्सो वन ऑफ द मीडिया राइट अदरवाइज आप टेलीग्राम चैनल ज्वाइन कर लो टेलीग्राम चैनल उस पे भी आप इंटरेक्ट कर सकते हो अपने डाउट्स पूछ सकते हो राइट Logical reasoning initially, right? If you are targeting CAT 22, right? Initially, you should do puzzle books, right? आपको आपको puzzle books करनी है, right? Shakuntala Devi करनी है, दोनों brain uh, uh, puzzles to puzzle you and more puzzles, right? आप uh, George A. Summers की करो, right? Brain teasers. उसके अलावा आप बहुत सारे वैसे तो हमारे पास भी मटेरियल में बहुत कुछ होता है राइट right? बहुत सारी क्लास एक्सरसाइजेस में सेक्शन टेस्ट में टॉपिक टेस्ट में पजल्स होती जाती हैं फिर मॉक्स दो बहुत सारे मॉक्स में मिलेंगे आपको नए-नए क्वेश्चन करने को ये तो जितनी प्रैक्टिस करोगे और स्टैंडर्ड पजल्स आपको सारी पता होनी चाहिए राइट दैट विल हेल्प अ लॉट इन लॉजिकल रीजनिंग एलआर सेक्शन ओके सो सी यू इन द नेक्स्ट सेशन बाय-बाय नमस्ते जय हिंद गुड नाइट